Hi and welcome back to Guide to SolidWorks. Today we are going to be having a look at um, an activity where we are going to be looking at a split cone. So this is the idea, uh, is that we can take this cone uh, in sections and look at how we would create it in uh, 30 degree sections. So we've got 30 degrees where we have material and 30 degrees where we have not got material uh, around the centre point. So. Let's dive into this and let's have a look at how we'll go around it. So the first thing that I'm going to start off with is a base. So on my top plane, I'm going to sketch out a center, center rectangle um, and create a base. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that 250 by 250. Now I want to round these corners off, I don't want them to be square, so I'm going to round them off with a fillet. Um, and I'm going to increase that fillet to 80, just to get a nice rounded corner on these edges. Like so. Okay, and then add a circle in the centre just to give me a hole. Oh, I've jumped off there. Let's try that again. Jumping off too early. There we go. So enter that there and we round off them corners. Uh, now I'm just going to put a circle in on the centre of here. That should be positioned to the centre point there, to our origin. And I'm just going to set a dimension across. Um, let's put that in at 150. Like so. And we've got this shape. So what I can do here now for my base shape, I'm just going to extrude that, I'm just going to extrude that uh, up 10, just to give me a bit of a base. Oh, it's flipped on itself there. Let's take that off. Okay, so now I've got my base in place, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at creating a profile to revolve around. So if I go to my front face here, um, and sketch on that front face. And then I project a center line straight up. I'm going to want that center line to be 300 tall. Okay, so 300 up the center. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an angle of line down the outside here. Um, I want that to be 30 off the top. So I'm just going to take that to 30, like so. And I'm going to set it at an angle from this center line that we've created of 15 degrees. And we've got that 15 degrees in there. Now what I want to do is I'm going to offset this here by 10. So we've offset there. Just making sure that this is lined up at the top. I'm just going to do a horizontal um, horizontal relationship there so we can fully define that section. I'm then going to square these off. So I'm going to square it off at the top and the bottom. So squaring off at the bottom there, I've added that line in square that off and I can trim off the excess here at the bottom. I'm going to do the same at the top. And I'm just going to make sure that this squares off here. Now I'm just taking it past so that I can set a relationship between here and component of the line that was already there, which is collinear, means it goes uh, stays in line with it, which then allows me to trim off any excess. Trim, that and trim that, giving me that profile that I need there. Okay, now I've got that profile, I can look at revolving that around the center line. 
Now I don't want to take it all the way around. I just want to take it 30 degrees. So we're just going to change that to 30. And effectively that will give me a piece of the side of my cone. Now once I've got that piece, what I can do then is go to circular pattern. And a circular pattern that section. I'm just going to follow that inside edge there. Okay. And you'll see it's picked up six pieces. It's going to want six pieces equally spaced around 360 degrees. And it's done that there, as you can see in the preview. So I'm going to tick that off. And I've got my six pieces coming up on the outside of the shape. Now, it doesn't matter what size you could do them. You could make these smaller, set the, set the angle uh, to smaller or further apart. It's up to you. So you could modify that to however you wanted for them angles. Uh, the only thing you do need is something in for them to water connect to at the bottom. Now, I want to put a top on this. So I'm just going to create on the top of one of these sections a sketch and a circle off the center. Fill them out to the outside edge. Okay, and then I'm going to just go to extrude that down. Now, if I extrude this straight up, it's going to look silly because it's going to go straight up. If I flip it and go straight down, it's going to come into the sections and in them gaps, there's going to be, as you can see, a space. So what I do is I want to create a draft angle here. And now it's drafted inwards. I want it to draft outwards 15 degrees, and that should marry up with the angle of them faces the ends of them pieces, like so, and turn into one piece. Now we've got that. Okay, so that leaves me now just cleaning this up. So I'm just going to um, take a hole in the top of here. Just draw a circle on that top plane in the origin, and I'm just going to make that 30. So I've got a circle going, circular hole through the top there. I have features and I can cut that through. That will cut straight down through that section and drop it in there. Okay, so now what I've got left is just finishing off with uh, some fillets. So fill it like so. And I'm going to set them to that to 20. And I'm just going to round off these corners. It should pick up all them corners and on the bottom edge. Now it's also picked up on the top ones here. So I'm going to deselect these. Just a quick click on them. We'll deselect them. Okay, so now you can see it's picked up on all the bottom edges. So it just picked up on the bottom and the top edges there, so I've just deselected the top ones. Now, if I tick that, we will fill it off them edges like so. Now here, we also want to do these inside top edges, so I'm going to fill it them as well. I need to change the size for this because the inside radius is going to be a lot smaller. So let's take that down to five. Jumping around here, so yes. Uh, so we're just going to pick a couple of these bottom edges, like so. And it should pick up all the inside edges there for us, like so. Tick. We'll take them across. Okay, so now we've got a nice rounded inside edge there and a nice rounded inside edge at the bottom. Just let's put some radius on these. So what we'll do is we'll round off these top corners and these edges. I'm just going to set that as 0.5, so a small radius now. So, and see how it does. 12.5 might be too small. We might have to, yeah, let's jump up. Let's go back up to five. Yeah, and then we're going to radius these off. So the inside of there, and then. I'm going to radius off this bottom face as well, so it's nice and smoothed around. Okay, and then we've got our cone. Now, 
all we need to do is set a material to this. So I'm going to apply a material to the body. You'll see it gives me some options now. So I've got plastics up here. I'm going to go for a um, low gloss, soft touch plastic. I know it's going to set it as white, but I'm going to then also automatically set the color in the side here. Okay. And that will offset um, the color to be a nice orange cone color that we're used to seeing. Okay, so um, I know we've used a cone there, but there was the idea of that was just showing us how we could split up sections into an angular shape like we have done creating with this cone. Now in this one, we've used 30 degrees and 30 degrees, uh, i.e. 30 degrees of material and 30 degrees of a gap. You could use whatever sizes you want, so you could change them angles to 15, say, or 10, um, and have more of them or less of them. It's completely up to you how you'd want to try that. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Hopefully you've learned something new there. Um, if you uh, did like the content, please give us a big thumbs up. If you've got any content or comments and things that you'd like us to have a look at, uh, chuck it in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. And uh, please, if you're new to the channel, uh, subscribe and I will see you in future videos. Bye for now.